ladies and gentlemen, Christian Sparks. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited for you because this is a big deal. It is a big deal. I'm excited to be here at the Lord Nelson. <laughs> I've made it. <laughs> but this is the Atlantic Film Festival, and I watched your trailer a number of times, I'm and good. that's a big movie. It is a big movie. It's too big. Yeah, Come it was painful. On. No. It's painful. I'm a broken man now. Well, it was, I'm imagining a big undertaking. Mm -hmm. um, it, this is your first feature it's film. My first feature, yeah. We did it with uh, Telefilm's Micro Budget. It's a new program. And uh, eight films from across the country were selected, and we were luckily one of the eight. And so we had a budget of uh, 250K, and uh, we had like 135 scenes and kids and cliffs. And yeah, lots of cast. Yeah, yeah, big cast, big yeah. cast, yeah. And, and tornadoes. He just throws that in there tornadoes, like, yeah. <laughs> you don't see those in the trailer. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> Well, I love what you do see is Newfoundland, and of course, on, on my show, we celebrate the Atlantic provinces, and man, what a beautiful backdrop. Oh, it was gorgeous. We, uh, uh, My producer, uh, Allison White, and I, we spent literally like two or three months in the summer driving around the province looking for locations, and uh, we stumbled upon Bell Island. I'd been there a couple of times, but I'd heard there were great cliffs and caves. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's world class. It's amazing. And the fact that we get to show them on film the way we do, it's, uh, I'm thrilled. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Okay. And now let's go back to the cast. I mean, we talked about there's a lot of extras for sure, but a great principal cast. And oh I mean, you can't do better than a father and son playing a father and son. Oh, it was fantastic. It was actually, we weren't sure if it was going to go that way because... Uh, the role is for a young kid there's a lot of kind of serious subject matter yes. and where percy was joel's little boy we wondered if he was maybe too young for the role there's like sexuality and violence and abuse how old was he when you guys started he's shooting 12. Wow, okay. he's 12 yeah yeah but uh he's an amazing kid yeah uh, yeah we worried about it a bit but by the time we started shooting i mean it was ultimately percy's decision right. joel's a fantastic dad and sherry's a great mom and i mean they they had their reservations but percy really wanted to do it and uh you know, I think the adults worried more about it than he did. He was like, he's a little pro. He had a great time, and I'm really glad him and Joel got to do it together. Right, and, yeah. and of course, this is a Joel Thomas Hines creation. It is a Joel Thomas Hines creation. I um, I'd been a fan of Joel's. I'd read a bunch of his books and his poetry, and uh, and and pitched them based on his own work. I said, why don't we take these different threads from three different works, put them together, add a troll, add fantasy elements, <laughs> get Percy, and uh, make a movie. Right. And uh, he he agreed to it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. All right, now I want to just ask you about this program because now you've you've tweaked my interest. At what? Okay. Because there's probably a lot about uh, people out there who've got a great idea, or mm -hmm. they say I want to be a filmmaker, and of course it's not easy, and there's a lot of p elements that go into it. But how did this opportunity come about? Um, well. I just heard about the I had heard about the program. I mean, I was aware that of the different types of funding through Telefilm, and word just spread that uh, they were coming up with a new program for first-time filmmakers, okay. and uh, you know, a small budget, um, and you had to have uh, be affiliated with uh, one of a list of organizations. Okay. And I actually made the film with the participation of NASCAD here in Halifax, so it's kind of doubly sweet for me to be now, able did to. Did you graduate from there? Or are you? I did graduate from there. Yeah, I was the yeah. first graduating class nice. of. Um, of a NASCAD, yeah, film Very program. Good. Yeah. So this is sort of like old home week for you now being uh, here in Halifax. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's uh, it's kind of uh, there's something poetic about you know having graduated like 10 years ago or whatever and coming back to screen my first feature here. It's uh, it's amazing. Yeah. You want me to pinch you? <laughs> That's very cool. Okay, so now just imagine and go back, if you will, to when you said, I'm, I think this is going to be a film, to now, mm -hmm. and like, uh, can you believe it? I can believe it. I mean, okay. we worked hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, you know, it's it's all hard work and, and collaboration with a lot of really talented people. Yeah. I'm. Uh, it's funny. I'm I'm glad to be here actually because you make a film, you put everything into it, and then me personally, you know, by the time you're done editing, you kind of you're kind of sick of it in a way. You spend so much time. I I, I am personally, but then you know you let, you stop thinking about it for a month, and then when you get into festivals and you and you release a trailer and the poster and the behind the scenes, it's like even myself, I'm like, oh, this is interesting. This is yeah. worth talking about. I'm telling you, it's a troll's lair. I got books. This stuff goes way back. Trolls love gold more than anything. You can pay them off with gold. It's their only real weakness. Your buddy Ricky broke his foot or his leg or something? Yeah, he, uh, he fell. Where'd these come from, by the way? I found them. You stole them. You stole them. People says you don't go to church because you're a witch or something. I suppose that's true some days. 
All we need now is her filling your head with more garbage. You think he needs you? Huh? Think he can't look after himself? He's a good side better at it than you are. That boy needs a lot more stability than what Angus got him into now. I know what the boy's been through. He might surprise you. I'm sure he's full of surprises. What does they say about the hand that feeds? But all that weird shit down in the crawl space. Bones and sticks all painted gold. I got half a mile apart and all that. No, 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 no. Is there something wrong with you? I saved him. I saw you hit him. Fire! Every word comes out of your mouth. Any trolls around here, Jude? I don't know. Maybe. What was the process timeline? Time-wise, the timeline was ridiculous. It was uh, by the time we heard about the program uh, uh, to the time we was, uh, finished shooting the movie it was less than a year. Oh my yeah, yeah. gosh! Which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. That I don't know is. if we should have done it. I, I spoke to somebody last night who it was 10 years in the making. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I uh, I know. The next one will probably be like 25 <laughs> years or something. Do you have a next one planned? I do. I have a couple planned. I have a couple of ideas uh, that I'm excited about. Joel and I are talking about a couple of things, and I have other things that I'm intrigued by. So uh, now it's just a matter of kind of setting aside the time this fall, uh, setting aside the time to uh, get down and start writing. Right. And you're here to meet and greet too, right? You got to work the room. I should be. I should be. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Okay, since I've got you here, mm -hmm. and you're like, you know the island. I'm schmoozing, yeah. Tell me the best part of Newfoundland and Labrador. If someone's going there, what should they do? What should they do? Um, since I'm, I'm going to give a shout out to the movie, I think they should go to Bell Island because not a lot of people go to uh, Bell Island these days. You know, get the ferry across. Uh, Get a feed of Dick's Fish and Chips when you land, which is amazing. Okay. Uh, it's an amazing lounge, uh, good people. And uh, go to this place called the Grebe's Nest. Ask the locals, they'll point you in the right direction. A what now? Uh, Grebe's Nest. Grebe's Nest. Yeah, it's these old kind of mines built into the side of these mammoth cliffs. And it's just the scenery is amazing. You, you won't regret it. It's fantastic. Belle Island. Yeah.